everybody, and welcome back to Insomnia True Silver Championship. I'm your host, Nemesh, and I'm here with Lothar and Nuktus again. And, uh, well, this is the last match, even though we still will have a couple of games. How are you doing, guys, after this long, long day? Uh, pretty good, man. We just uh, had the bro fest. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. We're doing fun. good. Are we getting together, like, after this? I know Lothar has a wife, but... Yeah, well, I do he has too. a wife, too. Yeah, oh! That's a perfect that's disguise. A, that's a great connection. <laughs> <laughs> that's something. Yeah, that, oh, that's, that's um, good stuff. Good stuff. But good, now, yeah. now we're out. So yes. that's what happens at Insomnia stays at Insomnia. I will not tell anyone, and our okay. viewers will not tell anyone. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that the 30k or 40k or 50k people that are watching that now are not gonna tweet at me and noxious. No, like, no, no, no. No, no, we didn't not. hear anything. No, no. Like, there's no bromance okay. in in here. And no cap up, right? It's fine. All right. <laughs> So, guys, the last match is uh, Trump versus Freaky. Yeah. Trump, I believe, is 1 1. Freaky is 0 2. Freaky is in a really dire spot. Oh, really? He's 0 2. Yeah. Ooh. That's not good. He wins or he's completely or knocked he out of any. Well done. We're done for the day. Okay. <laughs> well, I forgot. <laughs> we're, the role so playing much, is Nox, over. That's it. All right. Yeah. I would take it from here. Solo cast. It's fine, guys. I yeah. This. But, but honestly, though, like Trump, uh, basically, if he wins, he's just basically in, in a great spot because two one is basically what you need in this exact format to go yeah. through. Be, to go through. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there's no chance that he that he loses. And what's funny is because Freaky is going to be zero three, somebody else probably feel somewhat okay depending on their score because if somebody went zero three it means somebody else went with one two can actually right exactly <laughs> so in some cases so it's yeah uh, we will talk about the groups after we finish this match because after th this match we'll have an update with everything and uh, if we have the freeway ties players will have to play and they, they will play tonight so we'll right. also inform you guys what is happening with that but uh, noxious can you please um Remind me, what is the prize pool and what's the prize split? The prize pool, 10k for first place, we have 5k for second, and 2.5 for third and fourth for a total of 30k. Every single person here is actually getting in the money. Yeah, it is very cool. So that's very Just nice. for being in the top 16, you get a prize, which is the minimum is $625. And when you think about it, I really like this approach, because if you play in the main event, snap. You're good. You cash. Right. So yeah. that's, that's really cool. That's some kind of accomplishment. and. You have a souvenir from being here from like the top 16 and um, this is something that reminds us from the usual top t uh, TCG yeah. or that we have been playing, right? Top 16 if if is you're in the top yeah. after the cut, you have a prize. Top 16 matters, yeah. but the game is ready, guys. And, and Vissel versus Legendary, and obviously, right yeah. now. Wow, Legendary had kind of made it. Yeah, he, he made a radical Visual. change to his last, you know, lifestyle. And as a result of that, um, He's multi-classing. Yeah, but um, Freaky is playing Rogue. Yeah. And Trump is playing Shaman. Oh the aggressive my type. god. Uh, this is what you want. He got the pe best two hero powers. Steady yeah. shot and um, the, and the life tap. Yeah. You pick life tap, right? Uh, the, is it Shaman? Um, I, it's I still tough, like it's steady to say, shot. Right? I still like steady shot. In, in, I guess in the, the, this type of Shaman, yes. But look at his hand right now. It is really bad. But uh, you still have almost the same outcome just by picking Steady Shot. Because you get the extra damage. Yeah, it's like basically, yeah. well, I use just Lava Shock to the face. Mm -hmm. So it's not that bad when you think about it, when you play that type of deck, right? That's true. I mean, if you play Hunter, do you mind if you just play 10-2 Hero Power? Not that much. Yeah, right? So it's not that big of a deal. I, I like Steady Shot because... And Oprah. Trump... Sorry to interrupt you, but Trump will take armor up. <laughs> it is Trump after all. He he, he likes oh, damage. He did not. He likes value, and life tap is bringing him a lot of value. Yeah, I think so. So it makes sense. I mean, it wasn't an easy decision because, we, as discussed, steady shot is giving you damage, and he wants to deal damage. But with that this kind of hand, there is not that many tools with shaman to draw cards. Unsistent knowledge, yes. That's one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he only has two unsistent knowledge in his deck, right? And now he's got an infinite amount of those without the overload. Yeah, but taking damage, oh. not that great. Well, I you want to use it, it's great against avenge targets. This is a coined out shield minibot, which means muster is not coming out if you decide to go for the earth shock. But oh wow, that, that that's a play I didn't anticipate. Just Actually, throw away the, the knife juggler. That that doesn't sound that doesn't sound good. 
to be That honest. doesn't sound right to me. Like, it seems in the tournament, people throw away those jugglers. They just don't yeah. care. Uh, I, what is it about this play? So is it what makes it superior to the other play? Is it the fact that you have a fo like you can deal with whatever comes out on the turn the following turn in case there's a second mini bot like if, the, the if creeper like what is it are you keeping the earth shock for the creepers I, i'm i'm earth not sure but if shredders. freaky will kill the True. Finley instead of knife juggler i'm really confused right but now. it's a good play if you know it's an aggressive shaman with a lot of spells then the juggler killing it doesn't accomplish okay. that much necessarily Wh what if there will be a spirit wolves right now Maybe he's bluffing Noble Sack. Hmm. Well, but that does. What is the secret anyway? Well, it, it is redemption. It is redemption. So if there is an Earthshock on the Shield Minibot now, which I can't believe we'd see. It doesn't feel that good. Because the thing is, if you attack and it's Noble Sack, you lose your juggler. But then at least you know you can kill the board by going Tunnel Trog, Earthshock, Rockbiter. What about just for instance? going with the Rockbiter into the 2 3? What about tap, tunnel trog? Tap trog is not bad. Yeah, I don't know, man. Monster's coming up. I feel like so. I really want to ask Trump the reasoning behind the playing the juggler into the mini bot without killing it, knowing there was a possible trade. It did work out a bit. Yeah, but now what do you know? All right, so a full kill. And kill. the worst case scenario happens for Trump. <laughs> yeah, redemption. He did yeah. not kill that mini bot earlier, and now the the shield's back up. Shield does it back up, and your rogue biter just sitting there awkwardly. You can't use it right now. You you lost so much damage. You lost the oh my airshock. goodness. Yeah, master is perfect. Right when you thought it couldn't get much worse, it finds ways to surprise you. And you probably just go for master. You can ignore the truck for now. There is only two cards, so even if those are overload cards, you don't care that much. Fertile spirit. Might be annoying, but you have True Silver Champion for the, mm -hmm. uh, for the turn four. Yep. Well, I, li I like that play a lot. Mustard kill the mini. Uh, I mean the the juggler, then just attack face for two. Yeah. I mean technically you could attack the trog for two. There's really no big drawback. It's just that you might end up using your uh, True Silver on it next turn. Yeah, that's why we uh, probably just go face. But if there's uh, if there's the the wolves, then using. Yeah, then using the mini bot to attack the frog would be a bit better. All right. It makes sense as well. You are preparing to to kill the truck with the minions, and Trump gets another card, which is not a great in the situation. But life tap. That's a good card. Yeah, that's a great card to play. Totem Golem here curving, and giving his frog a tiny bit more damage. But unfortunately, you can't just start racing. Well, there's a Trucible Champion waiting. Yeah, but I mean, th there's no way that Trump can start racing now, right? Yeah, of course. So it's just oh, wow, the Cog Hammer is also a yeah, crazy Cog part. block. It is. It's a Cog block. Indeed. It is mechan mechanical. Trucible, really good. So, Freaky is in a great spot. He has everything. The problem is that for, for Trump, that you can't rely on Spell anything to, like yeah you, you just what, I was just thinking is there any card that doom will hammer is the closest he's gonna get to a playable here yep and it, it's not even what ab good. what about an elemental destruction but he's not playing elemental six o right? played elemental destruction yeah, Trump probably. did not play it in his deck that we saw yeah yeah we haven't seen elemental destruction so. well doom hammer would be okay to just start dealing with the minions a bit and get the board back yeah the keyboard the, the keyboard the keyword is start because he's not really gonna finish them off he's yeah. gonna you know kind of damage them a bit goodness Trump well you probably just lava shock the Shockler. Oh, this is okay. Perfect. You draw cards and then you actually deny all the overload. He is getting more and more damage in his hand. Yeah, but 27. 27 is a lot to go through. Yeah, it's on turn six, right? We're unless just we're talking turn six. Unless he gets a Doomhammer at some point, and then Doomhammer double uh, the be He's gonna be already. long dead before he yeah. gets through. <laughs> either way. Yeah. He he wasted his one air shock, so he can't go through that. The first but will. Somewhat by style here, but there's no way he'll be alive till next turn. 
I mean, sorry, not in uh, the next, the next turn, but the, but the, the other that, one afterwards. Yeah. yeah, it looks to me. I mean, he could go all in and kill everything. You know, you just play all the spells to kill things. But the issue with that is you don't really win the game. Can you go for like crazy? But you have lifetime, so maybe that's the correct option here, just, just to kill, kill stuff and kill try stuff. to like exhaust the paladin. Try the value. What What about just going all in? Just Feral Spirit, double Lightning Bolt face, and then Lava Shock, the 1-1. One, one. You don't need to Lava Shock uh, this turn. You just need to Lava Shock next turn. Well, next turn, what I would like to do is Doom top deck Doom Hammer, double Rock Biter, face. And then top deck, say, the other Lava Burst. Uh, you will not have mana for that, I feel. Whoa! That's some old school tech. Searching for something still. The meaning of life. <laughs> Possibly. Obviously. So he's seen redemption. He hopes there is no more redemption. And there will be a venge on something. There's a venge and another redemption, possibly, in that deck. All right, so no redemption here. Could be there. Competitive spirits. Two yeah. competitive spirits. Oh, there is redemption. Oh, redemption. All right, this, okay. this is tough. This, this is exactly what you don't want to see. So how much damage is that? Oh, Consecration. I don't know how much it was, but now it's pretty much GG. It is, yeah. yeah. No, it's more than enough. So that was a quick first match. I'm, I'm really surprised, you know, by the lens of play that we're taking early game with that mini bot. I, I'm still trying to figure out the exact... Because there's got to be a reasoning. There has to be a reason yeah, but why Trump did that. I couldn't find that reason. No, no, I don't know yet. But if we asked him, I'm sure he would tell us. So we can, we can take uh, a little bit of time afterwards. Maybe I'll learn some Hearthstone. Absolutely. Unless the reason is, like, I was tired, I actually misplayed. Oh, it can be that's a reason. Possible. That's that, that's yeah. that's possible. It's already it, almost 10 p.m. And here. it's a different time zone for Trump. Yeah. But yeah, it's the same time zone as mine. You're from Canada, man. That's well, where does he live? The U.S., right? Yeah. East Coast. California. I'm not sure. Yeah, not East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> not quite the same thing. But well, you know what I'm really happy to see though is the priest from Trump because we saw it a little bit earlier, just a tiny bit. Yeah. Um, and I really didn't get to see enough of it. It it, it had dragons. But it had a, a weird dragons. absence of dragons. Yeah, there is a Serena though. Right. That's something. So it, like it, it's it's playing like a mix of tempo. Yeah. It's like control priest with dragons and some of the older early curve. And curators as right, well. Right. Exactly. So it's it's really a, a nice mix. Wow, those double redemption trickies. That's added in. It's so weird, actually. It's you can't. Not, they just go secret keeper. It's, it's, not, it's not even bad here. Yeah. Yeah, I like that because then you just go mini bot. Uh, and what are the odds that one of them dies? Unless yet? he kills it, you just follow up with redemption. Again? Right, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I like that. I and he might play the Vine Favor as well. Wasn't well, he thing. played it? Uh, I think he was actually playing it. I don't I think, think so. it was freaky. Oh, uh, it might have been someone else. Yeah. Okay. But I wouldn't be surprised if he's going for Secret Keeper. Oh, man. Do there are times where going full Nordshire is fine. <laughs> he still might go for the Curator, right? I like Northshire. I mean, the Curator here is better by a tiny margin. The problem is you don't get to power shield your Northshire, but you can do that on the next one. Yeah. Or on the next turn, that is. All right, let's see if that's the Shredder with the Curator inside. It's chill, Ma. Welcome to the so, always Death chill, Lord would be okay as well. Sylvanas. Well, this card is pretty cool. Harvest Golem, look at that. No, I'm just saying, like, in, uh, in overall, like, the, the Sylvanas draw. From yeah. I, I really love Discovery. It's one of... I think it's my favorite keyword of all times. When and I don't think anything will beat it for a long time. time. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not meaning only Hearthstone. Yeah, like everything. It's so cool. Much better than Jousting. Yeah, but it's not even about like Joust being a bad keyword. It's just about how discovery affects the game, uh, the game plan, and the strategy for the for the game in overall. It just fits so well. Yeah, it's in, in different. It's strategies. elegant. Strategies. It's an elegant way to add a mechanic that does everything well. It's like a better shredder, right? Because it's like a controlled mecha controlled draw mechanic with some RNG. Yeah. But not enough to make it unfair, and it brings new cards that you normally don't play. Yeah, yeah. It's a very neat and clean design, I would say, and leaves also so much space for cards to be printed because you can say, okay, let's do a minion that discovers cost six minions. Let's do yeah. discovery that will discover weapons. Let's go, let's go for discovery that discovers spells 
for mage class only, right? Even though it might be a minion for a hunter, well, for like, example. Well, like, you look at uh, Grand Crusader in neutrals, you know, you get a paladin card at random, yeah. but this could have been a discovery mechanic, right? Yeah, it would be yeah, much better, probably. So, so, that would be a cool card. So Maybe we'll get, get an Irata, you know? I, I'd love them to change Grand Crusader to where it discovers something, so I can actually play it, even in Priest. I know they have a lot of six drops, but you could play that in Priest and probably get a lot of mileage out of it. Like, there's a lot of decks that would be enabled by a card like that, just because Paladin has so many control tools, suddenly everybody can play control. Everybody can play... I really want to have a Hunter card that will help him discover a control deck. Discover a random shot, and you get Quick Shot, Arcane Shot, Explosive Shot, Multi Shot. You always take a quick shot. <laughs> do you think it will make like a Hunter a control matchup as well? No, I don't. We want to control Hunter at some point. Well, it's easy. Oh, you just make lock, one, man. You make lock and load viable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I> <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's depressing. That's Speaking of sad. which, of, uh, I mean, the depressing part of this is the Secret Keeper being Undertaker level right now. Yeah, it, it sometimes happens, and it's so hard to deal with. Now it's false still time into secrets. Imagine that there will be no Secret Keeper. That hand will be so bad with all those secrets. Yeah. It, it basically shifts what should be a bad hand into a good one, even in a deck. Because the, de the gimmick is Challenger. When Challenger is not there, secrets are bad. But then you add Secret Keeper just to compensate for that. It's literally just there as a compensation tool. And it sometimes works in <laughs> Avenge as well. Holy moly. That Secret Keeper is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, a 7-6 for 4 mana is an Undertaker. I mean, for, on turn four, that yeah. is, for one man. <laughs> for one man. <laughs> uh, uh. It is an Undertaker at this stage. You can oh BGH my. it. I used to play BGH for Undertaker. Where's Shadow or Death when you need it, right? At the top. Silence for zero. No! Oh! I'm going again! <laughs> oh, man. That Secret Keeper, well, it still will attack. But it will not, like, the fact that you have Shadow or Death now, if you're Trump, you're really happy. I mean, there's a chance that Freak Kid ends up killing your Nordshire, which would be very, very odd. But there's a chance that that happens. And if it does, then suddenly Shadow Word Death is no issue. And as soon as you start getting Cabal out, you're in a good spot. There is redemption. You get Secret Keeper back and you just start it over. Yeah. <laughs> it no, 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 no. <laughs> there's not enough secrets. You must construct additional one drops. Yeah. At this stage, the issue, though, is that the Challenger doesn't give uh, Freak Kid that much value. Oh, come on. It's no. like still two secrets. Yeah. And it's a 6-6, six, six. it's right. not bad. No, I mean, it is a good card, but it's not going to win. after using Shadow War Death on Secret Keeper. <laughs> on the one drop. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, damn it. I would like to do... But he like, plays Light Bomb, so we know that Trump has Light Bomb, at least a single one in his deck. So that might be worth a lot. And by the way, this abusive... Do you kill the, the Cleric? That's, that's 13 damage to the face. Yeah, that's nothing that, to that cleric. On. That cleric kills your two one. But do you play redemption? Because I think you, you actually don't. I I would. There is no reason not to, I guess. My but God, nine damage from a secret keeper. <laughs> yeah, but it's going. But to he die. can taunt up now. Taunt up, get a dragon. Uh, you know, activator, get a two four. You can shadow or death. If it's redemption, you don't care one bit. And then you can start trading away the gold. I'll uh, just see the true silver champion from the top of the deck. Please don't say that. I, just, I already did something bad, Lothar. <laughs> I would like to see Lothar. Why Lothar? Well, Lothar would actually be kind of fine, right? Yeah. It's, it's not that fun. bad. And I'm Romanian does. Trump has PTSD. He's like, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not redeeming that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Keeper is not bad. Well, Keeper is great. Keeper is actually a great top deck. Keeper. It's sick, yeah. What, what's the what's the best target though? Like, do you just uh, abusive? I think. Why abusive? You can make it a three three and an attack with a one one and a three three into it. You have a, you end up with so a. I think. What so, is yeah. the reason not to change the recruit? Well, you can change the recruit, but it doesn't change anything because you're still overkilling, right? It doesn't matter if you change recruit or or abusive. Yeah, right? it's the same result. It's a, either way you're overkilling. We still have a free two on board after that. Unless maybe Quartermaster comes up. So that that would give Recruit a tiny bit more uh, value. But I like this kind of play, because that was... Um, the ball? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. True. Yeah, that's a good one. Good point. So we can't make it kind of awkward against uh, the second Vermis agent. 
So if, in the theory, if the next top deck will be Truce of the Champion, are you going for Truce of the Champion instead of the, tr the, the Challenger? I think in this case I might, just because I'm guaranteed to get the extra 4 damage to face afterwards, mm -hmm. and then the Challenger still comes in as a big threat. It's not going to be any more threatening on 7 than it is on 6, because it's still weak to the same stuff. Which is Light Bomb, Shadow of Death, yada yada. So. Uh, I'm surprised that he actually healed the minion. Yeah. Because there's n almost no difference. Like, you can heal yourself to 16 when you know that you, you kind of are getting low, right? Well, the question is, do you want to play this minion for value, right? And you're thinking you need to survive, and that's going to be very difficult. All right, guys, Mr. Challenger hits the board. Two secrets out. One is Avenge. And a small 2-4 is actually blocking two attacks here. Yeah, it's really annoying. You might, you might just pass. Yeah. But on the other hand, you do have Noble Sacrifice, I believe. You, you Oh man, I really didn't want to see the pass. I really didn't want to see the pass because you have to push for damage. You have if a you don't though. kill the if you're not killing the taunt right now, you're not guaranteed that your 6 6 will be attacking face next turn. Because your opponent can now just kill both of the minions and your mysterious challenger is stuck on attacking that venomous agent. Yeah, it depends on how the, the things go, because right now, based on what we see. You have like the 2-2 two, two attacking, let's say Noble Sack triggers, 3-2 three, kills a 3-3, three, three. the 2-4 kills a 3-2. But if Event triggers on 3-2, the then you're in a really bad spot. So you have to trigger it first and see where the plus 2 health goes. Yeah, exactly. So you have to make sure that your, your agent doesn't die, something like Muster, and that the Event triggers beforehand, so you know where to send your, uh, your smaller guys. Yeah, and Avenge Ooh. actually gets the worst target for Trump. Yep. Uh-oh. There's a 6-4 now, and if there's something in Consecration, that might be deadly. Well, not like fully deadly, but Consecration will be pretty good pick yeah. up. But even like um, a Cog Hammer, Cog Hammer will be on curve and just providing two damage if you need it. That's true. The Cog Hammer would do uh, quite a lot of work. But now, the thing that, that's going on here is that he still has to attack unless he gets Muster, right? Yeah. The Truce Over Champion, Muster for Battle, Cog Hammer. There's like three cards that... Oh, oh look at that. Yeah, Muster is really good here. Convenient. Oh, he's actually not attacking with a... Uh... That's interesting. So he assumes that there's no... Uh, there's no light bomb because it would have been played, obviously. Mm -hmm. So he's thinking, I'm just gonna try to play for value with that six four. But now Holy Nova feels like it. Well, he would do quite a bit of work, and this could be an abomination. <laughs> oh my God! This could be an abomination. I, I was sure that Noxus would just instantly come up with a usual, unusual <laughs> card that <laughs> but, might be useful. I mean, Chilma would have been better, like if you were on nine, right? If you but, called a bomb, that would be so sick. Is and that? Oh. No, that's. Oh, well, that's man. not really that impressive. Uh, it's impressively bad. The Karen Even is okay. Would have been okay. The thing is, yeah. The thing is, Karen doesn't like. When do you play Karen? When the answer is pretty much never. Yeti, you can play this turn as a four-five. Yeah. For you probably still want to play Cabal anyway. Give Still a random one, one. friendly minion plus three plus three just reading the card because I never saw it. <laughs> it's actually not too bad if you play Fang Death Hunter. But oh my god, I have to try that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It's like Fane wins, I guess. Yeah, but it's, it's really funny, though. But, you know, that's the same thing with every single Fane that It's hunter. almost like a bolster, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Almo oh, nice almost, one. but right. not, not quite as good. All right, so seeing one of the dudes, and it's uh, still a really bad position for Trump. He's, he's one off of death, right? Five, one nine, off. Ten. Yeah, one off. He just needs a cog hammer and... Not what he's looking for. And yeah. Trump could pick up Chilma, but he's gonna get silenced. <laughs> so it's gotta be Light Bomb, basically, at this stage. Is I'm not sure if he means even playing a Chilma. I mean, I would no, assume he is. So. A lot of people do not play Chilma. Oh, no. it, it was gone from even pure Dragon decks, let alone Curator Dragon decks. So Shredder for a Hail Mary can work, or a Light Bomb top deck. That's not bringing much. So he, in Doom the end, Sayer. he actually got the dragons, but it didn't Doom help Sayer at all. or... Doomsayer or bust. Yeah, even Explosive Sheep doesn't do it, sadly. That's uh, Snowchanger and no Doomsayer. So Trump concedes, well played, happy Feast of Wintervale. You're, you're saying it too... Too d you, hard, yeah, no? Yeah. It's like a happy Feast of Wintervale. We're actually like, happy about you it. You have man. to it's be like happy when you punch him in the face, like... Happy, happy feast, feast of Wintervale! <laughs> like, exactly. And like you happy have to fist? Just, happy Fist of Wintervale is pretty good too. Yeah. 
I like it. I still remember the, the World of Warcraft TCG, Happy Feast of Winterveld, the first expansion. That gave us the snowball. Yeah, the snowball. That was unique. With part. little jagged yeah. edges on it. <laughs> the guys literally like, throwing like jagged pick like spikes from the yeah. The fun fact is that at some point That was a playable card. Yeah, at the World Championships people actually played it. Really? Yeah. I wasn't even aware of that. Yeah, yeah, it was a playable card. And it was actually a playable card right after the expansion. Yeah. As a sideboard option. And in freeze mages mostly, control mages. All right, so it looks like Reno Lock for Trump is going to be coming out uh, against the Paladin. Ooh, now, that's so bad. Yeah, the MC Tech is a really good pickup. He's also playing Refreshment Vendor, which is not a card that you see in every single Reno Lock. The thing is, this is his last deck, though, and he needs to win with this Reno Lock versus... Rogue. And uh, Warrior as well. Yeah, Rogue is uh, kind of laughing at Reno Lock on one end, and we were talking to Super JJ with the, uh, about this. Is, you really want to get Reno against Rogues because if they start hitting you, you know, for three, for four here and there, you get the Warlock down to about 10. If the Warlock heals up, then you're out of damage. You can't burst him down. Yeah. But if you play your Rogue properly and you get the opportunity to, you just kind of wait. OTK until, them. Right, just burst them down. So it's really just a matter of that not happening. But it's really tough. Freaky knows how to play Rogue. Yeah, absolutely. So, and he knows how to play Paladin. He is winning 2-0 right now. Uh, he's also getting a pretty decent board, you know, double shredder, back to back. One on the coin, one on four. And Trump is going to hope that the MC Tech does something. Well, he he's can. gonna have to wait. Do you do you Hellfire at all? Or do I'm you just wait belch. for MC Tech? Yeah, I think I'd belch before I Hellfire. Yeah, it makes sense. You, you play belch on curve and it actually contests the whole board almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I might consider popping a, a shredder. I like it, I think, unless there is uh, something weird. So, like, if you're attacking the Shredder now, if you get Weblord or if you get... I mean, Weblord's fine because you can't you yeah, don't you play can Belcher, play but Mana, Mana Wraith. Wraith would really be awful. Doomsayer. Hell, even a pine size Summoner would be terrible. Oh, <laughs> that's bittersweet. Card draw. Pine-Sized Summoner into Mr. Mr. Challenger. Challenger on five. <laughs> He's like, here's a gift. You can wreck me faster. <laughs> oh, my God. Lothab. Is that something you play now? I mean, um, the, the abusive is I like abusive, tempting, yeah. Right? Abusive looks good. Just deal with uh, Belcher. It looks you can, good. You can attack with Thalmus first to see what you draw. Then abusive, finish it off. Mm. And you still have some some ways. If you deal with... Uh, you, you, attack, you attack into the 1-2 with the 4-3. And then you can stop the Twilight Drake with a simple number sacrifice. Yeah, you can use Muster no matter what this turn pretty much. Unless something different comes up. Like, like maybe if you draw a juggler, then your turn changes. But I don't think you want to overextend anymore on this board. Yeah, if you go master abusive, that's really dangerous because it's weak to a AoE. And you're you're popping your own shield as well. So that hellfire looks super tasty. Yeah, I'm kinda surprised that this turn That's super all in. He's thinking I'm bluffing Challenger. So if he AoEs I I pop down my uh, my six drop. He takes the risky play where he hopes there is no AoE, and if there will be no AoE, that will probably pay off. Yeah. He can't take the risk because he is actually leading to zero. So at this point, you can just uh, make high risk, high reward plays and yeah, hope yeah, just win. But right the event was needed. Was it needed? I don't think so. Because the problem is, this event will most likely lie um, on a one health minion. On a one health minion, so it will be still in range of Hellfire. Yeah. And if you're playing into Hellfire so much. What if it hits the 2-2? Two -two? Yeah, it could, it could what still if? get awkward. Just get the 2-2. Two -two. What if? I mean, Just I would Hellfire. Two -two. You Hellfire first, <laughs> right? Why, why did you not Hellfire first? Whatever gets buffed up probably has no more than 4 health. Well, you can always get Doomsayer from Shredder. Well, it can be a middle house. Which is fine, because you kill, you trade with your your Twilight. No, you don't. It gets avenged. So, that, I mean... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. Well, then you play Sun Fury and you pass. And you <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Options. Yeah. Oh, he's just giving the one one. And this is how the Shredder got buffed. And oh, oh my god! It's fine, it's gonna Never get MC lucky. Tech, we're good to go. MC Tech and uh, Sun Fury Protector. No, he's not He's not doing the, the shenanigans. Well, Sun Fury doesn't do much because he's still attacking it with a weapon. Well, that was a really awkward turn. Uh, what? Oh, well, tap? Blessing well, of Kings is dead? lethal, but he doesn't have it. Not yet. He might pick it up. Oh! <laughs> Ah, uh, this is pretty oh, good. Happy Feast of Wintervale. Winter <laughs> it's still the happy to, to say that, you know? The love is in the air. What do you want for Christmas? Stop asking questions. <laughs> John Cena. It's a secret.
What's his name? <laughs> the, the Mr. Challenger. We have to make a montage of that. Yeah, with Mr. Challenger yeah, being John Cena. <laughs> he's just like, what's your name? And then the guy just comes out and just pops everything open. <laughs> Well, um, this looks really bleak for Trump. There is no Reno here. He is, uh, he's not even able to kill the Shredder, which is another big deal. Technically, he could play, he could play Zombie Chow, Shredder, Sun Fury. So many costs hmm. That's the best play he's got. Yeah, Zombie Chow, Shredder, Sun Fury is about as good as it's gonna get, and it's not getting good. Uh, better yet, might be Zombie Chow Refreshment Vendor and Sun Fury, so he heals up a bit. But that's less resilient than a Shredder, but it's may maybe it's not worth much. I just feel like the chance that a Neutron... Yeah, well, from the, yeah, the, Like I any agree. taunt, really, that comes out of it is better. Unstable Ghoul would be awesome. Yeah. Hmm. Tough, and the time runs out. No, actually, Unstable Ghoul have been awful, because then Freaky just plays, uh, plays Dr. Boom. Oh, and then you die. Yes, yeah. that's oh. right. That's correct. <laughs> Can refreshment vendor save the situation? Yeah, so far it's not looking impossible for him, but the shredder has to not give uh, Freaky something terrible. If it gives him something he doesn't want to see, you silence the shredder first. Yeah, and then you there there are plays. Yeah, we were talking about that. Like yeah. there are times, obviously, where that's got to be optimal. But so so what? You just kill a refreshment vendor with uh, yeah with Shredder. See what's up. Yeah, you Shander. could play Chandra first. Yeah. Yeah, comfort is comfort is great. And let's see what's happening. Does he even trade the Shredder? I mean, you might you have to because yeah, what you else? probably yeah because you can't protect it. All right. Uh, that's not really that important. That's a minion. It's still a 2 for minion, so it's kind of hard to kill that. But now the redemption so auto sacrifice will give Trump value of the MC MC tag. Stalag Fugan, he can yeah, get Thaddeus. But look, look at the possibility of. Hmm. Because do you, do you win anyway, right? Like like even, even if, if you're still a six six, you're still. Even if you still like a at eight seven. That's still too much damage going in, right? What if you Sylvanas yeah, and Sun Fury? Yeah. You can't. Oh yeah, you don't have Sun Fury anymore. Never mind. Peddler. Yeah. Really Re Reno would be good, right? If you just play Reno, you have. Yeah, Reno would be okay. Reno's an alright card in this yeah. spot. I feel like Reno is overrated. No, he's going. He's going for the MC Tech 100. percent No question. There, there's nothing else. He's. he's Corruption. Doing. Too that bad it's not instant. I agree with the Leopard no pickup. Pleasant feast of winter. And Trump concedes, so Freaky gets his first win. It doesn't guarantee that he goes through, but yeah. it might give him a chance for a three-way tie, which is amazing. It's still a chance, right? Yeah, Trump is one too. After this game. So. so Trump, Freaky, and I don't remember exactly who was in the groups, but we'll talk about the groups in just a moment. 6-0 is what's done. Oh, yeah, right. 6-0 was 3-0. Yeah, yeah. And so he's 3-0, and, and everybody is 1-2. Ness was the last one. So everybody's won too. Yes. We have a three-way tie. Yeah, we do have a three-way tie. <laughs> no. In like three groups at once. All right, so guys, this is the moment where I have to tell everyone, what do we do if we... So first, three-way tie. Go. What is that? We have this. We have the groups with four people, and it was, this was round robin. So everybody played versus everybody. And after all those games, in this specific group, 6-0, won three games. He's 3-0. Trump, 1-1, one, one, lost two. Freaky same, that's the same. So we have three people with one, two, three-way tie. And normally how you actually, we have to determine who is the second person going out of that group uh, into tomorrow's debate. Yeah. And sometimes you do it with the tiebreakers, which means that whoever had less losses will actually be the best. But how we determine it here, we'll have a second round robin for those guys. For the three, get like all the guys who are in the three-way tie. Yeah, all the three guys have to play a round robin again. Which can result in a three-way tie. It, it can result. <laughs> can it re really? It, I guess it can, right? Everybody yeah. having a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. 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 All right. So it's, it's really important <laughs> for them to resolve this uh, freeway tie at some point because in the worst case scenario, they will just play till tomorrow. So we come here tomorrow at some, at some point and th these poor guys are still playing freeway ties. They haven't slept. I was like, guys, this is the fourth group stage you are playing. Like, please. Trump's like, oh, never mind. You just, you just take it. I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. So we have at least one freeway tie. I think we actually have two. We have at least two, yeah, for sure. 
I mean, we'll see how it goes, right? Um, I'm going to bed, so I don't play. mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will not actually stream those those yeah, real dice. Played off stream. So, but uh, there will be an update, of course, on uh, on the website. Yeah, there will be an update on the website, and uh, I think we can talk about the group station in just a moment. Uh, do we have the, the graphics uh, ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we yeah. have the graphics ready, so get ready for Group A. So this is the score. Super JJ qualified, goes to the top eight. AK Wonder, are you board control freeway tie, guys? Absolutely. But are we sure that they played it already? I think uh, we're waiting for ties. No, 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 they're still playing. They're still playing. Are AK you sure? Yeah, I see are you there. But it's like free games, everyone. Like yeah, everybody's playing. Yeah, but this is a free man tie. So oh, so they are playing. playing. Yeah, they're playing right now. We can see our okay. view there against playing against AK Wonder. So All right. Already going through their three-way tie so match. So they are yeah, playing so the three-way tie, yeah. So they're playing the three-way tie. So we have no idea who is advancing it. And we can also uh, take the assumption that the blue font actually says that he's well, someone is qualified. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, Super Judge just went through. And uh, AK Wonder, are you for control? <laughs> and the, and the word qualified. <laughs> yeah, it also helps. Like, That's a good hint. That's a good hint, Oh, God. Oh God. Your, oh God. Your, your perception is on point, man. <laughs> I, I can be a rogue, man. Oh, you're good to go. Roll All right, guys. Perception dice. Yeah. Group B. What is happening in the Group B? Three-way tie in the Group B as well. No, we're not. No, Group B, we have Visual and Legendarian actually qualified, and Kranich and Tice eliminated. Yeah, too bad for Kranich and Tice. I mean, two BlizzCon players. I, I was going to say. Those are the big names. Yeah, European yeah, champion and uh, one of the best players in the world from Korea who qualified for BlizzCon twice. They didn't make it. And Visual, a local guy who won the UK qualifier versus Solo, he went on Rampage, he won 2-0. And even though we saw him lose versus Legendarian... It, yeah, it is 2-1, technically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you so can't be 2-0 in a group of three. Yeah, times. he is a 2-1. It's, it's probably not updated. Everybody has at least three matches. He just play. erased his opponent. He did. The, the win, the, like the loss, didn't matter because he was already through. Right, he That's was already fr uh, going through no matter what. So. so if you guys are from UK, if you want Visual actually play and, and win the tournament, and if you just like the guy because he is a, he's really approachable, he is a fun guy, yeah. and he is playing Carson. You know, he didn't expect this. He just came here to have fun. It's like the Boulder Fist Ogre guy, <laughs> or the War oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember <laughs> what, when was that? A Dreamhack. Dreamhack Booker. Uh, yeah, that, that's yeah. the guy from. Gypsy, that's He's absolutely yeah. better than Gypsy. That, the Corrader, right? That was a Corrader. We've seen those, yeah. Corrader, yeah. Hound, yeah. Well, he played all right. I, I want to cast more of uh, his games. Yeah. Especially agree. because he is representing uh, the local scene, and we have a lot of local players just behind us. Um, all right, uh, what's happening with the Group C guys? Yeah. So we've seen Trump from Group C. Fixo as well, which yeah. is the uh, qualified one qualified and three-way tie. That is the three-way tie. And they probably just uh, prepare right now to play it. Six are qualified with 3-0. Trump and Freaky have to play. And this is so funny because Freaky started with 0-2. And now he actually has a chance. Yeah, RDU's had the same issue, right? Yeah. And he was hoping from the bottom of his heart that everybody else would end up with the same score that he did. And he got into that situation again. Which Can you imagine the stress and the anticipation? You're just sitting there and it's like, please, lose, please, win. <laughs> <laughs> just stand yeah. behind those guys I'm playing games. I'm sure he was just standing above someone. It's like, you're disturbing uh, me. That's the point. And you just look at the guy you want to win, and he misplays, and you're like, no, what is happening? Yeah. <laughs> you're like, can I move your cursor for you? Just yeah, I can play, play instead, please. You, just, please. You, you, you know what you do? You plug in a USB mouse to the second USB and move yeah, you <laughs> second mouse. It's, it's a gesture, right? Yeah, I, I did it to my colleague at work, you know, when I was like... It's the best way to troll people. You actually like he didn't know. I did it for like a week. So it's like <laughs> hilarious. Just, just freaking him out. Just like once, once a day, you're just like moving his mouse like frantically. I was like, what the hell is happening to my PC? So yeah. Oh, if you get good. boxed up at some point, don't, <laughs> don't wonder why, Lothar. I know why now. Oh, God. All right, guys. We still have one more group to talk about. Group good. D, which is a group of death. It and actually uh, is a group of death, kind of. Oh, wow. With a three-way tie. Oh man! What? At the, at the top. This is a different replay. <laughs> <laughs> you can three-way tie yeah, both I, ways. I zero did. three or three-year-old oh, doesn't matter. Yeah, I actually, didn't yeah. predict that. To be honest. Three three-way ties out of four groups. It's just crazy. And uh, Slitha being the you know Spanish player, the qualifier through yeah. the international online qualifier. We saw him play a little bit 
uh, you know, Lothar and I, and we saw him play today as well. So yeah, yeah. he's doing really good. Yeah. Apparently, Life Coach and Kalento, you know, were kind of the big names that we recognize in this uh, this roster, and they're going to be having to go through another round robin to determine whether or not they both are going to move in, or if Slitha, who qualified online, is going to. I'm just imagining Life Coach playing that round robin. <laughs> they would not finish to 4 a.m. Uh, you know, I imagine Life Coach saying, "Well, this is good for me. There are more matches. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I can play more Hearthstone. It's fine." Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the long term, life coach wins. Kalento's sick. So, but well, he said he? to me that he's feeling better. Right? All right, good. Because he felt, he looked and, and felt really sick a little earlier. So. All right, Looking guys. Bad. So, that was an amazing, amazing day. We had and great it's matches. Still not finished. It's still not finished, right? Uh, well, I mean, they, they still play, right? We'll not 10 show. PM. So, guys, just uh, follow the players. They, they absolutely will be tweeting about what is happening. RDU will be complaining on Twitter for sure. Regardless, if he <laughs> wins or, or loses, he will be like, oh, I could have played better, or I could have played whatever. So um, we will have uh, still a couple of matches, but uh, not here on stream. On stream, we'll be back tomorrow with the top eight. Mm -hmm. yep. and, and then our top eight best players will actually fight for the final prizes and for the glory to become the Insomnia True Silver champion. Well, the first Hearthstone event that we've had at this scale. Yeah. So it's really yep. uh, a big first step. And I can see the, the bracket for tomorrow. We know one pair, which is Xixo versus the Soul, and that's that's it. It's very interesting that we don't know the winner of one group after being played completely. I right? get a that's feeling. A I get a feeling we should know that. Why? Which one? Like group D, the, that's Colento, Life Coach, and Life Coach. And uh, do you have like three three-way ties, Wait. which is the most unusual scenario? Yeah. You could have run to. So Noxious, are, are you going to say that you have a feeling that after around? 12 hours of Hearthstone, we should know anyway, some winners at least. Yeah, we, I feel like we should know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't. <laughs> we will know everything uh, tomorrow, I guess, yeah. or tonight. Yep. All right, so uh, I think we're ready to, to close up the show. Um, thank you, guys. It was an absolute pleasure casting with you. We also have Raven with us. He couldn't make, uh, make it for the last match, but uh, it was great. It was a great event, and uh, we are here tomorrow again. And thank you so much, guys, for watching us. Tune in for tomorrow. I'm not sure at what start, at what time we actually start. Is it 11? Same start as today, I think. We had 11. Uh, I don't want to lie, blatantly. All right. So around 11 a.m. European time yep. in the morning, CET. All right. So thank you so much for watching. It's uh, everything from us for tonight. So tune in for tomorrow and have a good night. Some say there once was a boy who got a Christmas present. A Nintendo Power Glove. Ever since he saw that film with Fred Savage in it, he had wanted one. And now, it was his. After then, he never took it off. Just played and played and played and... Oh, seriously, who wrote this sh <clears throat> Until one day, his parents had had enough. They took his Nintendo away. The boy was distraught, broken. Then it got weird. The boy's hand curled into a mouth. The power glove let out a scream. Wires embedded themselves in his arm. When the boy came to, he was changed. He had an unquenchable hunger for games. The glove was now part of him. Absorbing games, each one making him bigger and more powerful, like a huge digital sponge. He roamed the earth, trying to satisfy his thirst. To this day, he resides in an underground lair, which is actually quite nice as underground lairs go. Growing stronger with every new release. He is... Gamer Claws! <laughs>